Oh yeah. I didn't know if I would have enough freshly molted tarantulas for this, but I think I actually do. So all of the tarantulas that we are going to be feeding today are freshly molted. Everybody featured is obviously ready to eat because if you didn't know, when a tarantula molts, they come out very squishy, very soft, and it takes a while for their exoskeletons to reharden again. Usually when their teeth darken back to black, that's a good indication that they're ready to eat because their fangs kind of go from like a white color to a red color and then darkened back to their black color. So everybody's molted within the past few weeks to maybe a month ago. So we are obviously going to be feeding my favorite and your favorite, which is gummy worms. They are my favorite feeder before a molt and also after a molt because they supply a lot of hydration and that process takes a lot of hydration out of the tarantulas. Also, of course, while we're going through and feeding the newly molted tarantulas, we will be collecting their exoskeletons. This is one of my collections I called the skin bin and it contains a lot of molts including Zelda my tea stermies. This one's pretty full and I got these olives and I ate these olives so I think I'm gonna use this jar for molts. So yeah let's get into it. So I actually wanted to start this video off with one of my jumping spiders. So they actually just recently molted. Let me see if I can get them to come out. There we are. Look at that cute little face. Hi. I actually saw like the tiniest little gummy worm in here. Oh, here it is. This little guy would be perfect. Um, I'm not sure if we'll get this on camera, but I'm going to just go ahead and drop this in for the new freshly molted guy. We seem a little scared of it right now. <laughs> I'm probably not going to be able to retrieve the molt out of this one because it like never kicks it out, but I do want to try feeding. You guys can see that blue down there. Dang. <laughs> I love that blue color. Oh, 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 oh. Did you guys see that? It bit it, but then I didn't realize it grabbed it and I pulled it up. Oh shoot, okay, all right. Now I'm freaking us both out. I will just leave it there because I know that it wants it. <laughs> we don't need an Ephibopus species running around my living room today. Don't really have the energy for that, to be honest, so. Okay then, let's move on to somebody that I know is going to eat. <laughs> so this is one of my Pamphibedia species, Machala. Obviously this is the smaller of the two. Let's go. Too predictable. <laughs> Look at its carapace. Really, really pretty. These guys are some of my favorite freshly molted. Here is its molt. It is kind of shredded at the bottom, so I don't know. I'm not that eager to find out for this species since I already have a female. But yeah, we will just pop it in the skin bin, the new skin bin. This one down here is probably not gonna come out, but it is my Xenthus amianus, which is a very rare species. Here is the molt. This thing has gained like a ton of size. I don't know if you guys remember, but this is actually the little sling I unboxed when Tom Patterson surprised me with Wednesday. Yeah, I don't know if it's male or female. There's its abdomen, so it's all like, it's tiny. And I guess like if I really wanted to try, I could probably try wetting it out and pulling it apart. But honestly, I'm not that curious at the moment. I'll wait for a bigger molt that is maybe gonna be easier to tell. It wants it. Oh, <laughs> next. This one has already dismantled and torn apart her molt, but I do want to show you guys anyway. Here she is. She is fabulous. This is my Afonopilma strana darchi, I believe is how you say it. Delicious. Yeah, this is what we've done to our molt, so we're really not worth trying to salvage that. I will say with that last molt, she has turned very, very dark. Um, she was still a little brown, 
And now she is really, really jet black. I love it. So this one was actually a viewer's tarantula that I purchased from Tropical. I know they had to get rid of them and their whole collection, and they were really happy when they found out that I was buying one. So this is just a little Gramostola Porteri or rose hair tarantula. These guys used to be like super common and inexpensive and, um, now they're not, basically. <laughs> I got her and I was really happy to take in another Gramostola Rosea. You'll see my other very shortly, Mavis. But this girl, she's really beautiful. She just molted and I feel like she is actually much more like pink than my other. But check her out, like she is absolutely gorgeous. This is right after a molt. Her molt is actually hidden under this piece of cork. I'm not really gonna pull it out because it's not that serious. I don't wanna stress her out too much, but we will just, See if she wants this horn. Oh yes, good girl. Just look at those colors. Like it's so vibrant and just, I don't know. These guys are so pretty. I know they're like basic and like people don't care cause they're boring and whatever. Totally disagree. These are freaking gorgeous. While we're on the topic of G. Porteri, I will go ahead and bring Mavis along. Mavis is a tarantula that I've had since before my channel started. I got really lucky in finding her at a pet shop and I don't think I even paid that much for her. I bought her pretty much as an adult female. It's so hard to get a good view. What are you, where are you going? Yeah, as you will see, she is not near as red as the other, and yes, she just molted. She molted in the coconut, so I'm not gonna like retrieve that one right now either. I already know she's a female. Here's a little, uh, I guess, pedipalp as evidence though. <laughs> Thank you for the pedipalp. Nice to meet you, okay. Normally, I feel like when they climb on the sides, it's like, I'm hungry. Oh yes, delicious. Okay, so next up, unfortunately, this tarantula has gone into hiding down here. My Samalpea is Cambridge. She was actually out earlier when I pulled this out and I was really happy because I rarely get shots of her out. And then of course, uh, while I was getting ready for the video, she decided to go into her hide. Um, but that's fine. We'll go ahead and drop in something to eat and maybe she'll come out for us. Oh yeah. There you go, you want another? And I am going to steal this, if you do not mind. Oops. Ah! This one's a little difficult to get out just because of how everything's positioned. I think I'm gonna have to pull this piece of cork slightly. I'm using fingers very cautiously. Got it. <laughs> it certainly looks female to me at first glance because I see this little opening right there. If I just pop this in some warm soapy water, I bet we can tell if she's female or male. So I'm gonna go grab just like a cup of warm water. There we go, some warm soapy water. And now we just gotta wait for a few minutes. I do have another arboreal that was out that just is very easily spooked, but they molted and I thought for the sake of this video, we would try to get them on camera. This is Peco, my piece Letheria Metallica. Uh, I do believe that this is male. So yeah, I've been raising this one since it was a sling. Let me just say this one is like lightning fast. So yeah, I don't know if we're gonna come out for that. But I will grab this molt uh, and verify if it's male. I do believe it to be male. But yeah, check out this molt. Really cool. So yeah, we will just pop it right on in there. This is my S. Hoffmani, and yes, she molted for me. She was very shy about eating recently, so I kind of suspected it was going to happen. She is looking gorgeous. Hey, where are you going? I got food for you. Oh yeah. Delicious. Give you two. Look at her, she's like silver. And check out that tiny little horn on her head. Yeah, she is looking fantastic. Oof, got it. You got it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's her molt down there, by the way. Let's go ahead and grab that. Good job. That's a really nice one. I wonder 
I mean, I already know she's female, so there's really no reason to try to find out. So I'm just gonna plop that into the new skin bin. This is my Cerakopelma species Catalina. Confirmed female. There she has placed her molt for us to grab. So I'm just gonna like open this little piece. Man, my fingers are gonna be so itchy today. Can I just open this? Yeah, I don't even think I need to soak this one to tell. Oh my god, I got hairs all over my fingers. Okay, I'm gonna go wash my hands and I'm gonna just put this in the in the water. Oh, oh okay. Dang, she's got like this really pretty coloration on her paw. I wish I could get her out more. Next, we have another really cool, this is gonna be an all black tarantula. Here is the molt. Still kind of little, but you know what? We might be able to find out if it's a male or female, so we'll pop that in. Oh, <laughs> okay, we were hungry, awesome. It almost looks like an Afonopilma, and it makes a lot of sense because I heard that the Afonopilma stranarchi and the Slitocaudal schroderi are both easily confused, and I think they're from almost the same area. I can't remember, but it makes sense why they get confused because this really looks like an Afonopilma, but I'm sure it's a Slitocaudal schroderi. This next one is very special. I have two more to show you guys, but this one is a very familiar face. Her name is Sephora. She's really old. I thought she was dying. She never molted with me keep in mind I've had her for like five years bought her as an old lady you know so I kind of thought she was on her way out and then she finally surprised me and molted and she looks like a different tarantula to be honest here she comes look at her she looks like a totally different tarantula. Like her coloration is so different. And also since she molted, her appetite has finally come back. She did not have much of an appetite forever and bam. Now at least uh, usually she will take food without, without questioning it. I guess maybe today she's like quite, oh, there we go. Go on girl. Oh yeah. <laughs> awesome. But yeah, I'm so happy she finally molted. Like literally I've had her for five years and she never molted, stopped eating pretty much for the past year. And then one day I check on her and I'm like, who is this tarantula? She looks so different. But yeah, I just, I thought you guys would really like to see that. I'm, I'm so happy. <laughs> never lose hope when your tarantula is acting weird and not molting for a long time. All right, I have one more freshly molted tarantula. This girl, I have not fed since she molted. She is quite shy, so oh, there she goes, there she goes. Ma'am, drop in a couple, because these are kind of small. Yeah, that's what I thought. So this is my Afonopelma Annex, and she is a female. She was sent to me as an adult female. This is her first molt with me, I believe. Wow! Oh yeah, that is for sure female. I don't know how well you can see that, but right there, yeah, female. I already knew that, it's crazy. Yeah, I caught her actually on her back and it was too bad I couldn't film it. All right, so let's go ahead and find out if we've got some males and females. This is the Toledo Cottle Shidori. If any big brains out there want to give me their opinion, um, keep in mind this is still pretty small, but that's what we're looking at. I don't know. I don't know. I almost want to say male. So I think next molt will be a little bit more clear, and I will just toss this into the skin bin. Who is this one? Is this my Catalina? I mean, was this my Cerakopilma species Catalina? Yep, that's a female. This is what I'm looking at, this little flap right there, that opening. Yeah, that is a for sure female as I thought. So who are you? My P Metallica, I'm totally sure this is a male. Yeah, this is male for sure. There's nothing there. Nothing there. Is this my Cambridge? Yeah, I think so. Um, I would say female. So yeah, I don't know. I hope this helped you guys. I hope you enjoyed. 
Um, it, maybe it was a little different than other feeding videos because we had something else to do. I don't know. Anyway, like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not, and you want to be. Don't forget I have Instagram news probably way too much as after I show that cat. You can go follow me there as a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It's all linked down below. I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet picks.